Good morning, everyone. Welcome to, yep, there we go. Welcome to the Tricky Fox Radio Morning Club for Thursday, October 24th, 2024. Good to have you with us. I told you I'd be here on Thursday. It was Tuesday I wasn't here on, but thankfully I'm here on Thursday. <laughs> anyway, it's time for the weather, guys. Um, there is still a frost advisory in effect, guys. Like I said yesterday, let's go ahead and read this first. Um, <clears throat> it's really cold outside right now. Um, it started at midnight today, and it will continue on till 10 a.m. today. So it's still going on till our morning show. All right. You probably all right now, but all it really is is. Well, I'll read it anyway. Temperatures as low as 34 will result in frost formation. It remains in effect from midnight tonight to 10 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time on Thursday, which is today, by the way. And it, pe- it affects the central Lima Valley, western foothills of the northern and central Oregon Cascades, north and central coast range of Oregon, North Oregon Coast Range Lowlands, Tualatin Valley, Outer Southeast Portland Metro Area, Lilipa Hills, Cowlitz County Lowlands, North Clark County Lowlands, and South Washington Cascade Foothills. And yes, Dallas is included in this um, advisory as well. When will it be? Uh, until 10 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time this morning, which basically means until this morning show is over with. <laughs> the impacts? Frost could kill sensitive outdoor vegetation if you leave it uncovered. Here's what you need to do. A frost advisory means that widespread frost is expected. Please make sure that your sensitive outdoor plants are not killed if you leave them uncovered. Please cover them up, guys. Just saying. Anyway, um, let's... Uh, that's not gonna work. Maybe if I just hit this. Yeah, let's do that. I knew it would let me do that. It's just I didn't know if it would or not. But thankfully it did. Anyway, um, today's weather for Thursday. October 24th. That's today, by the way. Times of clouds and sun later today, high 58. Tonight, partly cloudy and chilly, low 56. Here is the current weather as of um, 8.02 a.m. 32 degrees Fahrenheit, real feel, 35 with fog. Can't tell if it's foggy outside because they have a thing up. Sorry. But the real fuel shade is 35, wind is northwest 1 mile per hour, with wind gusts up to 2 miles per hour, and the air quality is fair. Let's look ahead for expecting rainy weather late tomorrow night for Monday afternoon. Huh. Well, it looks like, um, we may just end up going to Spirit Mountain on, um... Well, that again, maybe we could go to the coast, but if it's just going to be raining, then Spirit Mountain could make sense, but who knows. I wouldn't be lucky anyway. <laughs> but yeah, Saturday and Sunday and Monday, it's all just rain. Um, I'll just read the three-day forecast for now. Today, um... As I said earlier, times of clouds and sun with partly cloudy and chilly, 58 high, below 36. I did not mean to do that, sorry. Tomorrow, which is Friday, um, 64 high, 51 low, mostly cloudy. Cloudy with late night rain. And then on Saturday, it'll be 65 high, 52 low. With occasional rain and drizzle with periods of rain. With a very high precipitation, 86%. You should see what Sunday is. Should we read Sunday? No, I will not. Well, no, I'm not going to read Sunday. I promise you I only read three days from now. We'll read the seven-day forecast in the last segment. 
My throat is really not wanting to cooperate right now, guys. And earlier this morning when I was in bed, my throat still did not want to cooperate. It was weird. I wasn't even talking. It was weird. <sighs> anyway, I'm trying to figure out what we can do now. I don't think we'll have enough time to read the news. Um, especially political stuff. I'm not even going to bother with that crap. Um... Sorry for being so quiet. I just got out do something here. Um, sorry. Um, clear this out. All right. I guess we'll just leave it open then. <laughs> Not want to do that. Uh, we'll just do this then. Kind of quirky sometimes. Ah, uh, weird. Anyway, um, I might just go ahead and put the commercial in here anyway. I think I need to have some water to clear out my throat. I don't know. Sorry about all the blanking here. It is what it is. It's mouse. Well, not the mouse. The mouse pad is it really one of my most favorites. It's not even a mouse pad. It's just a book. Could have done better, though. Here. Sorry about that. Again, I will be getting some water um, when this it when this we go to the break. That is, I, I just I can't even talk right. Weird. Uh, we play Sunroof by um, Nikki or and Daisy. I usually don't play that too often on the morning show, don't I? Nope. I'm hoping I won't have to go over. Um, what about Glimpse of Us? That might work. We'll see. Um, 19, 18, 17, 50, 1544? We'll try that. I, I don't know. We'll see. Um, the commercial breaks even enough to the point where I can just trigger it right off the bat. Um, so we'll see what happens. I still got like a minute left. I feel like I'm going to go over. Well, we'll see what happens. Um, anyway, I guess coming up is Nikki Orr and Daisy Sunroof. And hopefully, Joji Glimpse of Us. I'm hoping that order will stay intact, but I can't guarantee you anything, though, guys. Just saying. Hey, do it is. Well... I'm trying to do my thing on the air, though. Well, not my actual show, but you get what I'm saying. That makes sense, right? I just don't want to puke on the air. That's all I'm going to say. I might have to go over this a tad bit. Just a tad bit. Anyway, I guess coming up... I haven't even revealed to you what the next segment's going to be. It's Food Talk, by the way. Alright. Food Talk is coming up. And Nikki or Daisy and Joji. We'll be right back officially. No more pulling through. We'll be right back. Yep. 
That was Glimpse of Us by Joji and Elton John and Dua Lipa Cold R with the PNUU Remix. Yes, I played something else other than Sunroof. I'm so sorry. And you want to know why? Because I would have gone over a whole minute. A whole minute. Yeah, it was too short. I'll admit that. Anyway, enough of all that. Uh, it is now time for Food Talk. And it's time for our, um, a quick bread recipe called Easy Pumpkin Pancakes. Um, none of the recipes on the front page, on the home page, were interesting to me. So, as a last ditch effort, what I did was I was searching for pancake recipes, and I found this Easy Pumpkin Pancakes. It seems proper enough with it being October. I haven't tried them yet, but they sound great for an October morning. Sure do. They're ready in just 10 minutes. They serve four. There's nine ingredients. Here's what you need. Two cups of flour. Two tablespoons of granulated sugar. Four teaspoons of baking powder. One teaspoon of salt. Um, one teaspoon of cinnamon. One and a half cups of milk, one cup of canned pumpkin, four eggs slightly beaten, beaten, and a fourth cup of margarine that's melted. Here's directions. First, you want to mix together dry ingredients. After that, combine the milk, eggs, margarine, and pumpkin. Stir into the dry ingredients until just blended. Finally. Pour about one third cup onto a hot griddle. Cook until the top bubbles and turn and cook the other side. In other words, they're just like actual pancakes. You just have different ingredients, pretty much. Go away. Alright, I'm gonna go back here. It won't let me. Let's just go back then. There we go. At least it kept that intact. Um, let's see what Granny's pancake's about. Actually, um, Green Onion Pancakes. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> yeah, let's not read that. Uh, let's try to read something more delicious. Chocolate chip banana pancakes. That sounds more delicious. Well, not without doing that. <laughs> this is submitted by Best Teen Chef. It's a community pick, too, by the way. This is just like a banana chocolate chip muffin, but it's a pancake instead. You can add all the chocolate chips into the batter instead of using some to garnish. You can enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> Yep, it's ready in 30 minutes. It serves four. There's nine ingredients as well. You need one and a half cups of flour, of course. One tablespoon of sugar. Two teaspoons of baking powder. A half teaspoon of cinnamon. One and a fourth cup of milk. A half cup of banana, mashed. In other words, too small if necessary. One egg, lightly beaten. One teaspoon of vanilla and a half cup of chocolate chips divided. Here's the directions. First, you want to combine the flour, sugar, baking powder, and cinnamon in a large bowl. Then, after mixing well, stir in the milk, banana, egg, and vanilla. After that, fold in one fourth cup of chocolate chips. Then, heat a griddle, spray with oil on medium heat. Pour the batter onto the griddle, making three inch rounds. Then, cook about two minutes or until tops are bubbly. Flip the pancake and cook for a minute or until it's golden brown. After that, prepare a remaining pancake batter as directed, adding more spray if needed. Finally, place on individual plates and sprinkle the remaining chocolate chips if desired. Someone said hers didn't come fluffy. What did she do wrong? Apparently her baking powder wasn't correct. Put some hot water in a cup. 
Stir in some baking powder. It should start to fizz and bubble immediately and strongly. If not, it's no longer good. Basically, what I think is going on is her baking powder might have expired. <laughs> and that's not a good sign. Anyway, um, one more recipe makes common sense. Oh, look at this. German style crisp potato pancakes. Interesting. I've got crazy pancakes. That's funny. Um, oatmeal cookie pancakes. That's different. Um, never heard of potato pancakes. Those are quite different. Um, Um, let's look at, um, Jordan Pancakes. Let's see what this is about. From the menu night, whatever that is. Jordan Pancakes from the menu night treasury of recipes. They're very thin pancakes. Okay. Ready in 25 minutes, it yields 8 thin pancakes, 4 ingredients. You'll need 1 and a half cups of flour, a half teaspoon of salt, 3 eggs, and 1 3 fourth cups of milk. Here's the directions. First, you want to mix all together with a mixer or by hand with a tail free of lumps. Second, you want to spray the frying pan with pan and heat over high heat until hot. Then, reduce the heat and pour approximately one third cup of batter in the center and tilt it to cover the entire bottom of the pan. After that, when small bubbles form and bottom begins to brown, flip and cook the other side. Finally, we like to eat these sprinkled with sugar and rolled up. Yeah. Anyway, that's German pancakes. It's from the Mennonite Treasury of Recipes. I never heard of that. Check that out someday. Come on. Okay, I don't want to do that. There we go. Okay, it can be quirky sometimes. Just saying. I know I can just do it on my computer, but whatever. We'll just do it this way anyway next time. Anyway, it's 8.28 a.m., so we are going to go ahead and park commercial land. So there you go. There we go. This next one we're going to put in, where you at, wherever you are, there you are. And do this one. This one, let's see if we got Dave Gunn and BB Rexa. Hopefully, we will. That doesn't look like we do because they would show up before Doja Cat. That's not good. I thought we did though, but then again, maybe not. Oh well, we'll just play Back Eyed Peas instead. <laughs> As a constellation, that is. Yeah. And then after that, we'll play Beyonce Break My Soul. And, um, tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and end this early, guys, cause, yeah, cause I know this song's a little bit longer than usual, so, yeah, I'm gonna end this early, guys. Anyway, coming up, by the way, is TMZ Celebrity News, and by the way, I'm just gonna kick you at this so you don't do what you think you do. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Anyway, TMZ is coming up. Don't go away on the Tricky Fox Radio Morning Club. Yep. That was Break My Soul by Beyonce, Don't You Worry, by the Black Eyed Peas, right here on the Tricky Fox Radio Morning Club. Alright, time for TMZ Celebrity News. Here we go. Let's move on to the first story. Leon Payne investigation of police raid at the Buenos Aires Hotel. They seize electronics and documents. And we have exclusive details, by the way. Police in Argentina are moving full stream ahead of the Liam Payne death investigation, who were raiding a hotel where the former One Direction singer had plunged to his death. 
the law enforcement sources have told TMZ, cops in Buenos Aires had showed up at the Casa Sur Pal Palmerio Hotel Wednesday night to review electronic and paper records following the October 16th tragedy in which Leon fell from the third floor balcony of his room into a courtyard. Our sources say Leon initial autopsy results um, reveal he had pink cocaine in his system, a dangerous cocktail of various drugs such as meth, ecstasy, and ketamine, as well as other n narcotics. We're told police examined information contained in folders and on laptops with hotel employees to determine who sold Liam the drugs. They seized documentation, film records, and videos of the hotel's underground area. Wow. Our law enforcement sources tell us they are particularly focused on one hotel employee who may have sold drugs to Liam. So, yeah. And what's more is, is that investigators believe Liam fell to his death in a state of semi or total unconsciousness because of the position of his body when it was found, showing he did not try to protect himself anyway. But Liam Zadjiov is helping police, flying from the United Kingdom to Buenos Aires to join the investigation to find out what exactly happened to Liam. So at least that's some good news. Doesn't help the fact he passed away now, though. Oh, well. But anyway, that's it for that story. Now we'll move on to something a little bit more happier. Taylor Swift, TakeOver, Epic Eras Tour, Welcome, and her giant friendship bracelet. Let's see what this is about. Taylor Swift's about to get a larger in life Eras Tour welcome because New Orleans has dressed up the Caesars Superdome with some totally on brand vibes. The big easy venue has been binged out with a giant friendship bracelet just to greet Taylor before she kicks off her free night concert takeover to town on Friday. Now, it's definitely one heck of a personal touch. That really amps up the excitement from both fans and the city to welcome Tay Tay. Yes, that bracelet does say T A Y L O R S W I F T. Taylor Swift. I W D K. Um, not sure what that means, but it doesn't matter. Um, Taylor's fans have been all about those friendship bracelets at her concerts ever since she sang about making them in her. 2022 hit, You're On Your Own Kid, that's from the album Midnight's, by the way, if you're wondering. At least I think it is. It is. I'm pretty sure it is. I have to check. The bracelets have totally became a big, become a big part of the Swiftyverse. And even Kamala Harris running mate Tim Waltz, Tim Walls, rocked one of the vice presidential debate earlier this month. Giving a huge nod to Taylor's Kamala endorsement. I am happy for that. Big shout to Taylor to endorsing on Kamala Harris. I am happy for her. I appreciate that, Taylor Swift. Anyway, I think we have one more story, and believe it or not, ironically, it is about Kamala Harris. Believe it or not. Might as well. It's about the Harris campaign office. Shooting a suspect had over 120 guns at the house, at home and possibly planned mass casualty event. Might as well read this too. <laughs> um, let's see what this is about. Jeffrey Michael Kelly, the suspect arrested in the connection with the shooting of Kamala Harris's campaign office in Arizona, may have been planning a mass casualty event. This, according to the prosecutor, Naya Bahida. The Maricopa County prosecutor made the assertion in court on Wednesday, supposedly yesterday, claiming federal agents told her more than 120 guns and 250,000 rounds of ammunition were discovered in Kelly's home after his arrest. 
That's a lot. <laughs> she said scopes, body armor, and silencers were also discovered in the home. In, uh, in the home, yep, by authorities during the search. Along with a machine gun in his car. Wow. Kelly has also been accused of hanging bags of white powder from political signs lined with razor blades in Alcohuiti, a neighborhood that's south of Phoenix, that is. That's weird. Based on the items recovered in the seizure, the Heaty note is that noted Asian suspect Kelly was preparing to commit an act of mass casualty. According to the police, Kelly first fired BB pellets at the campaign office, which would also serve as Tempe's Democratic National Committee office. He then allegedly fired gunshots on the front door and window of the office. Bahidi says the shootings took place in the early hours of September 16th, September 23rd, and October 6th. And he also claims that Kelly had guns consistent with the guns that were used in the shootings. But thankfully, no one was inside the office building during that shooting. Yay! But a Tempe Police Department spokesperson noted that the repeated incidents had raised safety concerns for the staffers inside anyway. Kelly, who had previously been arrested in 2022 for allegedly stealing campaign signs, has been charged with multiple felonies, including committing an act of terrorism, unlawful discharge of a firearm, and shooting at a non-residential structure as well. He's also been charged with misdemeanor or criminal damage. The judge has already set Kelly's bail at 500 grand and has ordered him held on house arrest in the event he's able to raise the bail money and may he be released from jail. Hmm. Interesting. Come on. There we go. It's just quirky. I'm just all gonna say it's it's a quirky device. It's quirky. But enough of all that. Coming up next is Pokemon Go. It's all I'm gonna tell ya. And speaking of that, we're a park commercial in. I really need to use yeah you might as well say it. It doesn't matter. Alright, um Yep, I'm playing commercials in, guys. Deal with it. Um, does it matter, though? No, it does not. Uh, no, I don't want to search for commercial. I already put the commercial in. Pro I'm just going to admit it. I have to use the bathroom, guys. I'm so sorry. That's why I'm not doing such a good job with this, because I have to use the bathroom. <laughs> I need to use the bathroom, I should say. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Alright. To be left. Lizzo. And then, um, Steve Lacey. Bad habit. Alright. So there we go. Um, I might have to go over. I just realized that. Well, probably just by hair. I think it was 56.17 is where it has to end at that point. A little bit by 56.17, that should be good enough. See, so yeah, I'll have to go over just by a little bit, but not the end of the world, though. Anyway, like I said, coming up, we'll be playing Pokemon Go on my phone. That means we'll be playing as I'm Jesse Hack 95 first. We'll probably try to play it on the tablet in the next segment following that. So there you go. Anyway, like I said, coming up is Jesse Hack 95's Pokemon Go. That would be me on the phone, by the way. But there you go. Anyway, enough pulling through. I gotta use the bathroom, guys. Coming up is Pokemon Go in the second half of the Tricky Fox Radio Morning Club. We'll be right back. Don't go away. You're listening to Tricky Fox Radio. Yep. Right here on the Tricky Fox Radio Morning Club. Alright, we're now in the second half of the Tricky Fox Radio Morning Club. And hopefully I don't run any issues with my phone. Because I'm losing my faith in Apple right now. Because obviously I have an iPhone. 
So hopefully I don't run any issues with this, because obviously my iPad was having issues. In fact, next time we may just use the computer. But anyway, enough said. I'm watching Pokemon Go right now, as I said earlier. Well, I didn't even say that. What am I thinking? Someone killed you and didn't even give me any coins. God dang it. That was my last map survive. Well, there is some good news. I don't have one left. I'll probably punish them and just heal everyone up. Looks like I'll be spinning Pokestops. I uh, burn that one off. God damn it. I guess I'll heal two there then. I think that's the only one I have, I think. <clears throat> no, I have two. If I did put one in when I was with Dawn after I when I went to Dutch Bros. I remember that now. Heal you up too. Yeah, I'll heal you up for friends. Uh, that's good enough for Dale. Doesn't seem fair though, they don't give me any coins, so, especially since I bought storage. This just doesn't seem right. I do know they killed off Birch Park though. So we can get in it, my red account that is. It looks like to me Yo might have been trying to kill it again because 49 minutes ago Stenche had just killed it and it seems to me it got two treats so that's pretty interesting. Maybe Yo was trying to kill it a few minutes ago and then she was feeding these golden raspberries, so that's kind of interesting. I would guarantee that's a good yes. Well, at least Jesse Wild got coins at least. <laughs> Maybe he's still in this one. I think he is. Let me confirm that this is his cleaver. It is, yes, okay. So he's still in at least one, I can confirm that. Alright, so there's still hope for Jesse Wild too. But I'm pretty sure Jesse Wild would have gotten coins for that one, though. I'm pretty sure he would have. I just know he would have. <laughs> anyway, Wit Lick, it's time to shine. Let's cut them with the Panette Berry. Great Ball. Great curveball, I think it was. I can't remember if it was even a great throw or not. No, it wasn't even a great throw. Well, it was a curveball, but I'm thinking. I thought, well, it did give me more experience for being the first catch of the day. I thought it said it was great, though. That was odd. Huh. Oh, well. And of course, it's worth nothing, so we'll throw it away. Wah, wah. <laughs> All right, what about this lily pup here? Um, 607. Uh, let's just give it a raspberry. I don't need extra candy for you, I don't think. I'll use the ultra ball for the extra assurance. I'll probably throw it away at the end if it's worth nothing. Which I just know it's not, which I just know it's going to be. Yes, I do take appraising my Pokemon more seriously. Yep, I do it, zero stars. Oh boy. That's just wacko. Oh, that was a pretty close call. I stayed in, that's nice. This one might not be worth anything either. Nope. Light and short. Bye bye. Looks like Spinarak disappeared. That's unfortunate. <laughs> oh well. Wow, Litleo. Litlick. Yeah, I don't 
don't have a, I have lab beds. Okay, I need seven more candy to evolve it. There was one more Whitwick I could find. I could finally evolve it, but I'm just gonna cheat and do this, just for you guys. So I do have enough rare candies. I haven't gotten the um, Pokédex entry for um for um, Chandelier yet. I, I do have a Unova Stone I can use. Uh, 1372. But hold on. Let's see if this is a free star. It is. Okay, let's just evolve it. Yes, we'll use the Unova Stone. Go away, Facebook. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I'm so sorry to get your any of this. I wish you could, though, but I had to turn the sound effects and the stuff off. But it evolved, and it's going to show the Pokédex entry now. Yep, that's what I thought. Alright, next the good old Axie there. Uh, why is it... Oh, hold up. I don't care about Hygerian. Hmm. Let's change that. Um, you can change fire spin. I'll keep overheat, but I'll change fire spin. Yep, that works. Alright, I'm happy for that. Anyone else need to arrive? Nope. Anyone potions? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Alright. I think that's all I can do here, guys. <laughs> yeah. I'll leave it up for now, but as far as I'm concerned, that's really all I can do there. <laughs> anyway, um, commercial break, here we come. And music. We already put the commercial if you're wondering. This is not really my favorite mouse pad, by the way. In fact, not even a mouse pad at all. It's just a bug. A little secret there. Play left and right. Charlie Poof and rain up the hill. Yes. Good music, by the way. Maybe we'll play current music later. Just not right now. Just doesn't seem fair enough. I just... I mean, Sabrina Carpenter seems nice, but meh. I just don't really have any taste for Sabrina Carpenter's taste. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it, it it's the truth. I just don't. I I mean, I haven't even listened. I mean, I've listened to some of it, but I just didn't really care for it. But yeah, you get the idea. We should probably make a segment where I react to certain songs, guys. Maybe we can do that in the last segment, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Um, but anyway, um, enough all that. Um, um, yeah, coming up is Charlie Poof, left and right. Um, and then after that will be Kate Bush, running up the hill with a deal of God. And that song was also featured in Stranger Things 4. Well, the fourth season of Stranger Things, but advertises itself as Stranger Things 4. Woo! <laughs> Sorry about that. I just had to do stuff in there. Uh, but anyway, um, enough pulling through, guys. I am just going to go ahead and shut up now. And, well, sort of. Well, you get the idea. I will be shutting up for now. But anyway, coming up, I'll be playing as Jesse Wild 223. Hope for the best the iPad doesn't get screwed up or whatever. And we'll be right back right after this with more of the Tricky Fox Radio Morning Club. Right after this. Do not go away. Yep. That was Rain Up That Hill, A Deal of God, and Left and Right by Charlie Pooh with John Cook. Right here on the Tricky Fox Radio Morning Club. Alright, we are now in the next segment, which is with Jesse Wild 223 on Team Instinct. Stay aware of your surroundings. Do not enter dangerous areas while playing Pokemon Go. 
Here we go. Darn it. I'll fill you up at least. Yep, they got me 50 coins. Max revive. Okay. Uh, get to a sprite. Okay, it's Mantike. Okay, it's heavy and tall too. Interesting. Is it worth anything? It is. Free stars. Yes. Alright. Well, hold on to it then for sure. Whoa. Why'd you do that? Oh, there we go. <laughs> we'll do this egg. That egg. There we go. Claim our Poke Showcase Awards. Apparently, knocked us down by a lot, so we're probably not gonna get a whole lot out of this. Yeah, all we got started us and experience. That's about it. Okay, it looks like we still got two in gyms on this account. So, can't heal up Cleaver, obviously. There's a raid going on there. I'm curious to see what's going on there. Huh, doesn't show it. That's weird. Look, to me, it's a mega raid, a four star. Let's try Absol. Alright, I totally forgot I only have Pokeballs on here. This is not going to turn out pretty good, isn't it? Stayed in, that's nice. We got our first catch today with a four day streak. Great. But, could it be worth anything? We'll see. Come on, there you go. No, it's not. But I think I'm going to hold on to this anyway, just in case. Why are these ones not loaded? It could be a bug with the system. It may not be normal. Was there room in this gym? It won't even let me hit it. That's weird. Oh, there we go. There is room in there. Cool. have to get in there later, assuming my um, mobile data will cooperate with the tablet, which I have a feeling it won't, but we will get lucky, we'll see. We can heal up little punny. Can, yes. This guy too, might as well. Alright, that should suffice. There was two in, the, two in there, by the way. There was Jesse Wild and Nether Guy in there, if you're wondering. We got at least one in the power spot. It was a Charmander. Let's see what's going on with events here. Nothing really too exciting. Go bigger from October 26th to October 27th. Halloween 2024 and Community Day Man Key. That's not until November, though. Uh, but there is a Halloween 2024 Spirit Tomb Challenge. Cool. Try that. So shop has to save. We've got 250 coins. Nice. Um, can't really buy any of these boxes here. Uh, we can't get the free box, though, I think. So at least give us a gray ball for our change, which will be really nice. So definitely want that. Don't know what's these sparkling things, though. That's odd. Hmm. Weird. Anyway. Oh, boy. Do I have an app so I can trade with that account? We can turn into a free star. I doubt it. We'll try anyway. Two star. One star. Well, it's a smaller one. We'll try anyway. Okay, something showed up. We'll see what it is. Oh, it's this guy here. Interesting. Panpole with a sensory level. Raspberry. 
We'll try the um, regular uh, Pokeball that broke free. Darn it. Maybe we'll just do a Nunberry then and try it again. Oh. And that's why I didn't want to use my Great Ball, just in case the other will happen. Okay, it worked that time. Lovely. Even though it, it gave me six candy anyway. Ah ha ha ha! Free star in your face. Alright, anyway, we're gonna hold trade an Absol, I think. So I'm gonna do that now. A smaller one, but it'll be worth it, and hopefully we'll get something out of it. Um, I would hope so. Actually, it was right there, actually. I stand corrected. Ah! I'm gonna wait for it to load up. Trade. Alright. I have to load up just the hack on here. Alright, this one. Firm, that one was it. Yep, that one was it. It's like the one on my phone I had. Um, um, if we go over it, not the end of the world. Let's confirm this was at least something. One star, yep, okay. Finger, do that. <laughs> See if we get stuff now. This now, mine, mine was a little bit smaller than his. Obviously, okay, I got four fifty-eight. Let me check mine first on my phone. Still one star. Interestingly enough, it's heavy and tall. That's crazy. Oh, one star. They both got one star, that's funny. Well, the good news is we got the friendship level increase, so I'm happy for that. So that. There you go. And some thing about delinquent. Um, eh, get out of that. Oh, I had to try. Um, anyway, I guess we'll just put a commercial in, I guess. I think for the last segment, we might do one more Pokemon thing right quick. Maybe, I don't know, or we'll just read AP News. It depends on what happens. We shall see. But anyway, um, here we go. Sorry about all the silence, of course. This is how it's gonna be. Alright. Music. Or you ever you're at. There you are. Alright, I think this time we are gonna try to play women Dojo Cat Dojo Cat's women. And then maybe after that we'll play um Heat Waves by Glass Animals. How about that? Alright, so, um, trying to think here what time it has to start at. 49, 48, 47. Um, maybe it's 36. Um, I'm trying to count this. Um, 36. Um, oh. I'm probably not doing this right, guys. Um, and that song might be too short anyway. Um, First off, let me just put this back to here. But, um, yeah. But supposedly coming up is Dojo Cat Women and Glass Animals Heat Waves. But that order could change. But I think I know what it is now. It's 4606. But anyway, coming up in the last segment, we're hopefully going to catch some more Pokemon. Assuming some show up for Jesse Wild and Jesse Hack. If not, then it's AP News it is. But anyway, coming up pretty sure of it is Doja Cat Woman and Glass Animals Heat Waves. And after that, supposedly very likely will be AP News. Anyway, you're listening to Tricky Fox Radio Morning Club. We'll be right back for October 24th, 2024. Don't go away. Yep. That was Heat Waves 
by class animals and dungeon cat women right here on the Tricky Fox Radio Morning Club for you guys. Anyway, it's time for the final segment, um, which will apparently be AP News, well, news, but well, um, but anyway, um, couldn't find any Pokemon on the map, by the way, guys, they just didn't want to show up, could have just used the incense, but I wanted to save that for later, so there you go. Anyway, I'm going to adjust this a little bit so you can hear me better. Anyway, um, here is some interesting news for you guys, um, it's about Cardi B. She says that she's hospitalized with medical emergency and she'll end up missing the music festival as a result. Yep, this is true after all. This is from the Associated Press of New York. Cardi B says she has been hospitalized with a medical emergency and she'll have to miss a Saturday Night Headline performance at Atlanta Music Festival, unfortunately. I am so sad to share this news. I've been in the hospital recovering from a medical emergency for the last couple of days, and I won't be able to perform at the One Music Fest. M- M- one Music Fest, the Grammy winning rapper had wrote on Instagram. It breaks my heart that I won't get to see my fans this weekend, unfortunately. She also added, I'll be back better and stronger soon. Don't you worry. The 32 year old New York native has gave no details on her condition now. Cardi did give birth to her third child with rapper Offset less than two months ago, and the two are going for a divorce. She was to have performed along with Earth, Wind, and Fire, Nelly, Gunna, and Glow Real at the two day one music fest. Is that it? I guess that's it. Yeah! Alright, I guess that's it, guys. That was a very quick story. Yeah! Alright, let's go to entertainment, see what's going on here. Let's look at, um, music, or movie reviews, actually, and, um, so I don't really feel like we're reading on political stuff right now, um, um, let's see a newer film about, um, I want to see one about, go away, Gmail, I don't care about that right now. Wait, let me dismiss it. I think this is just a cheaply made stylus. I should really just use my fingers, to be honest with you. Okay, here it is. Piece by piece. Okay. Movie review. Piece by piece. A very odd Lego doc about Pharrell Williams, who snaps together somehow. By Mark Kennedy. A movie documentary that uses only Lego pieces might seem an unconventional choice. But when that documentary is about Rion music musician producer Pharrell Williams, it's actually sort of on brand. Piece by Piece is a bright, clever song field biopic that pretends it's a behind the scenes documentary by using small plastic bricks, angles, and curves just to celebrate an artist known for his quirky soul. Yep. It is deep and surreal and often adorable. <coughs> Sorry about that. Is it high concept, or is it low concept? Just like Williams, it's a bit of both. With director Morgan Neville, who has gotten more and more experimental by exploring other celebrities' lives, like Fred Rogers in Won't You Be My Neighbor, Roadrunner, a film about Anthony Bordren, and Steve Martin, a documentary in two pieces, but this time he's using real interviews but this time is masking them under little Lego figurines with animated faces. So you could just call this one a documentary in a million pieces, I guess? <laughs> There's a picture with Pharrell Williams left and director Morgan Avell in a scene from Piece by Piece and Jay-Z on the left and Pharrell Williams in a scene from Piece by Piece. Yes, Jay-Z also shows up as a Lego form. The filmmakers try to explain their device. What if nothing is indeed real? What if life is like a Lego set? William says at the beginning, but it's very tenuous. Just submit and enjoy the ride of a poor kid from Virginia Beach, Virginia, who rose to dominate music and become a creative director at Louis Voltian. Williams, by his own admission, is a little detached, a little odd. 
music triggers colors in his brain. Now, by the way, I haven't seen this movie yet. I was going to this week, but I ended up not doing it because my phone got screwed up. But anyway, we'll still read this anyway. We might as well. He has Symphonisia, beautifully portrayed here, and, it ha- and it's his forward-looking musical brain that will make him a star first as part of his o- or as part of the producing team, the Neptunes, and then as an in-demand solo producer and songwriter. There are highs and lows, and then highs again. A verse Williams wrote for Rump Shaker by Rex and Effect, when he was making a living selling beats, would bleed the superstars. Demanding to work with him and partner Chad Hugo, known as Kendrick Lamar, Justin Timberlake, Snoop Dogg, Busta Rhymes, Gwen Stefani, Missy Elliott, and even Jay-Z. All those superstars had sat for interviews and have hysterically been depicted also as Lego minifigures. Right down to no doubt's Adrian Young's Mohawk. Take my money, Lego. <laughs> That's funny. We also learned something about his life, Helen, and his anguish over being a soul artist, an opportunity he spurned when it was his for the taking. But ultimately, we learn to understand his futuristic approach to fashion and music. Why well, I am is a maverick, he says. No one will question him on that. The 3D world the filmmakers have made is astonishing, with waves of clear Lego pieces washing up on a beach made of slats of Lego base plates and William's collection of cool beats depicted as bouncing bricks with lights in them. There's Lego McDonald's nuggets too, with Lego pretzels, singing Lego fishes, and a Lego Anna Wintour. Chili and hottie in plastic too, by the way. Lego, while seemingly a restrictive medium, the hands are clips and everyone walking is robotic since there are no Lego knees can also, apparently in the right hand, soar, and here they do, with Williams in one gorgeous dream sequence, watching Earth slides as a distant astronaut. It is indeed when the filmmakers make Lego appear as water, and music that they are their crowning achievements. The special kudos to the team that made Lego champagne bottles, Bubbles by the way. Music credits are notorious hard to pin down. Williams claims to have created McDonald's and notoriously mysterious jingle, I'm loving it, and the filmmakers try to cover any misinformation with a simple disclaimer in the end credits. Not everything in this film is 100% accurate. For example, Pharrell never went to space. There are also some extraordinary moments that snap by, but likely took months to make, like a Lego glimpse of the I Have a Dream speech by the Rev. Martin Luther King Jr. at the Lincoln Memorial, and protest footage from Black Lives Matter figurines shooting, shouting, Don't shoot! The documentary lags a little during Williams' way up and rushes the years on top. Although recreations of some of the music videos he feels are just too funny. Why he and Hugo broke up is papered over, and the filmmakers struggle to find an ending, making several stutter steps. I think we're done, are the last words we hear as the filmmakers finally give up. But, they le- but they've left behind a trippy, sweet portrait of a genius forever in building blocks. Piece by Piece, a focus feature release in theaters, it's already in theaters, October 11th, is rated PG for language, some suggested material, and phonetic elements. Running time, hour and 33 minutes. Three stars out of four, by right, Mark Kennedy. Entertainment writer, editor, and critic. Yay! So anyway, here you go. I think that's going to do it for the Tricky Fox Radio Morning Club, guys. How about that? Anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and close out with a PSA, guys. How about that? Um, Find a sub one. There we go. Won't play it automatically, of course. Um, okay. Um, hold on, we can do this. Don't you worry. Alright, music. Here we go. Alright, here we go. Uh, let's play. Um, 
Hold Me Closer by Elton John and Britney Spears, and Easy On Me by Adele. That should work. And we'll just take it back to station ID so it doesn't boot me back. There we go. And I think at this point that should be good enough. I don't know. Yeah, that should work. Anyway, enough pulling through. Thank you all for listening to Tricky Fox Radio Morning Club. Hopefully I'll see you on October 25th. That'll be Friday, everyone. Till next time, see you on Friday. Goodbye, everyone. Yep. Goodbye, everyone.